Adam, I want six tabs, stat. No. Me and my son want six tabs. Well, here we go. We'll see how this looks in posterity. Welcome to today's episode of Psyched Substance. I'm Adam, and today we are going to be featuring a man by the name of Quentin who is studying biochemistry and who has the YouTube channel called The Quentin Experiment, and he is going to be, well, doing an experiment for us today where he will consume about 300 micrograms of orange sunshine acid, which is actually, well, you know, ALD52, and we are going to find out once and for all if the effects are the exact same. But before I get more into that, I'm going to transfer you over to Scientist Adam, who's going to explain the mythos of the famous orange sunshine acid of the Brotherhood of Eternal Love. Orange Sunshine Acid is a notorious batch of LSD which was first dispensed via the Brotherhood of Eternal Love between 1968 and 1969. Now it was first synthesized by a man named Tim Scully and Nick Sands, and then it was later uh, famously popularized by the former Harvard professor, Timothy Leary, who kind of started that counterculture movement, who stated that it was the finest acid that he had ever tasted in all the land. Now the supposed LSD had a potency of around 260 micrograms. That's almost three times the average potency of today's street blotter, and unlike today's street LSD, it didn't come in the form of blotter, it actually came on these tiny orange cylindrical pellets. I say supposed LSD because upon being arrested in 1969, Scully stated that they weren't actually manufacturing LSD at all. Oh no, instead he said they were creating ALD52. ALD-52 is a compound which was first synthesized by the godfather of acid, Albert Hoffman. It was then later studied by Alexander Shulgin, who upon testing discovered that it did seem to behave like a LSD prodrug, meaning that upon ingestion it should convert directly into its father molecule LSD, and it should theoretically produce indistinguishable effects. ALD-52, or also known as 1A LSD, is structurally similar to traditional LSD, however, it has a remarkable legal status. In other words, it was and is basically legal acid. Technicalities aside, both Scully and Sands were found guilty and arrested and sentenced to do prison time. For over 30 years, most of the public believed that the famous orange sunshine acid was actually the elusive ALD-52, at least until 2016 when Scully finally did a Reddit AMA where he stated that the entire time they were synthesizing real acid. The reason they called it ALD-52 was actually just a failed legal defensive maneuver. Well, this may sound like a open and shut case, it actually isn't, because during that same time period, the European LSD factories were actually producing their own version of what they called orange sunshine acid, and it has been confirmed that the LSD out of those facilities wasn't always pure. It almost seems like they are hinting towards some of the LSD was indeed ALD-52. Of course, this is all speculation. However, what we do know for sure is that ALD-52 has not received very much formal, well, studies, meaning we don't really know the full range of effects. We don't know if it really is simply a prodrug, or if perhaps it's active on its own, or if the effects of it being a prodrug do differ. And this is precisely what we are going to attempt to uncover in this very video. Now, please keep in mind that even though ALD-52 is a legal research chemical within Canada and many other countries, it does not necessarily mean that it is safe to consume. Meaning, the creators of this video do not recommend that anybody watching follow in our footsteps. We do not recommend that anyone consumes any compound, be it legal or otherwise. We are trained professionals who are going to be abiding by the utmost of safety precautions. And we are doing this strictly for the sake of science and human curiosity. We are creating a documentary and uh, even though we understand that a test group of just one isn't going to yield, you know, any real scientific results, at least it's going to be interesting. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really curious to see what would happen. Thank you, and I hope you guys all enjoy this very interesting uh, episode of Psych Substance. According to YouTube's guidelines shown here, videos which intend to educate are documentary by nature and do not glorify the use of drugs, both abide by the community safety guidelines and are eligible for monetization. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs, instead it attempts to be non-biased while delivering vital life-saving information disguised as entertainment. All right, guys, I'm here with Quentin, and he's about to drop some orange sunshine acid. We got our room all set up nice. He's got his little note to himself over here. 
transcend self next to Sonic because he's gonna be doing at the speed of light. I'm gonna be cradling him like a baby. Uh, how you feeling, bro? Feeling absolutely excited. Can't wait. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, man, I can't wait to see how it's different than LSD, or not different. Or, yeah, it might just convert directly into it. It might just be the exact same thing. Mm. Any nerves? No nerves, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm ready, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you eye fucking that camera? Yeah, I'm fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> Cue creepy laugh. Let's do it! <laughs> Now, what's your experience with real LSD? I have two experiences with LSD so far. Both have been an absolutely phenomenal time. So, mm. going into this with good energy and optimism. Tell the tell the camera why you want to do this. I want to do this substance basically just to investigate whether or not it has any different activity than just pure LSD. And that's a question I have. And uh, you have probably more of an interest than most people from uh, coming from you know biochem background. Yeah, like absolutely. You want to learn about it more than just like how it makes you feel. Wait, no, is that all you want to do? Well, essentially, I just want to know if the pro a pro-drug to LSD has any unique qualities outside of just being like LSD. What are your, uh, what are your expectations? Um, hopefully, I can maintain somewhat of an analytical state and share what my experience is like with the world. Gotcha. So you're, you're aiming to you know, feel it and kind of like take the viewer through the yeah. effects with you. To the best of my ability, unless I descend into madness. <laughs> It's always a potential. Always a potential. And uh, I'm going to be staying relatively sober for this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so that I can properly trip sit and we don't get lost in each other's heads like during our last trip where we had telepathy. I'm over the telepathy. I don't want it anymore. Yeah, we're going to start things off by cheersing. Here we go. Is that not a trippy bottle? I, I swear to God I'm not sponsored by... How do you even say that? Siempre. 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 Just to take the edge. Let's off. let's test the YouTube algorithm and see if they uh, demonetize the video because we're showcasing alcohol oh. consumption. Oh, we're getting banned after this, buddy. Oh man, <laughs> can't show people taking drugs that are completely physically safe, but you can show people taking drugs that kill thousands every year. Fantastic. Love the logic, don't you? Yeah, man. It's it's because you can buy it in stores and it's legal. Oh, guess what though. ALD-52 is legal in Canada. Hey so every compound that we are showcasing in today's video has legal status. Granted, it is legal in a gray area, meaning it can't be sold for human consumption. However... I'm not a human. I, I'm actually, like, more scared to take a shot of this than I am to take a tab of acid, to be totally honest. <laughs> this is, honestly, I am too. My alcohol tolerance is nil. The cool label is going to make it taste psychedelic. Yep, absolutely. Psychedelic liquor. Cheers to orange sunshine. Orange sunshine. Brothers of eternal love. Brothers of eternal love. Thank you, Nick Sands. Thank you. Yikes. Woo! All right, so you got any uh, final words before you transcend into madness? I would like to tell my family I love them and goodbye. <laughs> and make sure that you tell the camera that you're doing this completely out of your own free will and I'm not pressuring you with a gun to your head. I am doing this completely of my own free will. Adam does not have a gun to my head underneath the table or actually directly above the table. No, that's just my dick. That's just his dick. <laughs> Should we get started? Uh, yeah, man. All right, show it to the camera. Ah. Uh, and here we go. Keep in mind that any implied drug use is completely satirical and all that he has put in his tongue is just two pieces of paper and That's we're all. purely actors showcasing the potential of what could maybe possibly happen if you were to consume a completely legal research chemical. We're just going to do a bit of improv. Me and Adam are just out here vibing on that ALD 52. Actually, it's just me. You got to give me two more tabs right now. No. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stay strong with this. Stay strong. I want to make sure that you are safe. I'm safe. Let's do Two that. more tabs. Two more. Is entering unknown territory. Hmm. Which is, you know, good. Where the dragons lie. Mm. <sighs> we just vibing, baby. We just vibing. Taking notes, where you at? I can't remember. Oh yeah. This is what we do while we wait for the LSD come up. <laughs> You're back on that. I'm back, baby. Hope you didn't see the MDA video, because I'm back. Feeling any effects? Not yet. 20 minute mark, no? Nothing quite yet.
feeling a moderate tightening in my chest. That's probably the first significant effect that I have noticed. Similar to the LSD come on that I experienced not too long ago. So it seems to begin with a increased awareness of bodily sensations. A slight feeling of nausea has begun in my stomach. This can only be an indicator. Well, Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. This is my son. All right, I have returned with the, you know, that vermouth I bought is a funny color. Remember they're usually white? You know why I'm upset. What? You know why I'm upset. Why are you upset? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's olives in my drink. Yeah, you need to stop that. I'm so sorry, man. I just, I like my olives. It's okay, man. Just give me a bad trip. I'm going to give you a bad trip by eating olives? <laughs> man. What are you feeling? Well, it started with a, a bit of nausea. Uh, the same feeling I felt recently when we did LSD, uh, kind of a tightening in the chest. Um, Heart rate is increasing. Feeling uh, really mischievous. Like I want to just, uh, I don't know what that really means. <laughs> Let's see your pupils. You already got the damn glasses on. There's a little dilation. Look into the camera. Do you usually get very dilated pupils? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I look terrifying when my pupils are fully dilated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of myself. <laughs> are you going to do some mirror work? I'm going to do some mirror work, my friend. I've had it where I looked in the mirror on a trip and like I could see the different incarnations of myself. Mm -hmm. I've seen myself that. as the warrior. Same. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I bet we fought in a war at one point in another life. Probably. That was crazy. Yeah. You did a great job. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I died relatively quickly. You did. You did. I'm sorry, but you did great. Uh, oh, boy. What else are you feeling right now? Uh, su surprisingly not the same um, intensity of visuals as um, the previous trip. Well, you are 50 micrograms shy. That's true. At least. Maybe 100. Maybe 100. And maybe because it's a, um, the nature of the structure of this prodrug, it might take longer to metabolize. Yep. Actually? Yep. Hand me that other half right now. All right, we'll, we'll bump it up to 200. Let's bump her up. This is gonna be hilarious if I end up regretting this. <laughs> Adam, I want six tabs, stat. No. Me and my son want six tabs. Well, I mean, you know, my first acid trip, I waited five minutes. <laughs> well, at least you did it a good 40. Yeah, I've, I've matured. Yes, maybe. I've changed. Well, here we go. We'll see how this looks in posterity. These are created fully by me, and they are created for tripping, for trippers. What was that phrase we had? Trip? Trip tested. They, these hooded blankets are... You gotta put the hood on. Oh. These hooded blankets are trip tested, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Check out these pockets too. Mm-hmm. So Look at the contrast. Put your hand in the pockets and pretend that you've got wings. Like you can fly. Oh man, so you can dance at like raves with them. The softness is something that you've never felt before. It's actually an interdimensional element. No, like, like we actually went through, I think it's four to five different test blankets to achieve the ultimate soft texture. We did. Like, they, they feel fucking amazing. They feel great. Yeah. They feel great. I'm just noticing the beginning of, like, the breathing effect. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's starting. Yeah. Let me know when the wood flows. All right, man. This room is not bad. I wish I was with my Austrian babe. Oh man. You'll be with her soon enough. Oh yeah, she'll be with me. Why hello, beautiful people. I'm here with the Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you're talking about astrology. I'm here with the Taurus. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what is your astrological sign, my friend? I'm a Scorpio. When's your birthday? October 25th. Uh, so you're kind of at the start of it. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a Scorpio. I'm a very powerful Scorpio. I'm at the end of it. Mm, yes, you're you're a dying flame. Guarantee. That's why we kind of get along. If astrology is real. We're both for some fucking reason, assholes. That's why. <laughs> no, have you noticed that? For some reason, Scorpio people get along with other Scorpio people because they understand how much they're assholes. Look, man, I've been super open minded all this astrology stuff, and I'm just saying, like, some of it rings really true. Does so, it? To whatever degree ancient humans have been able to pattern match, maybe there's some amount of truth to it. So, like, why do you think there's no studies on ALD-52? Like, like, why? Well, really, there's not even a lot of studies on LSD in humans. Is it I just because of that illegal status? Yeah, we have early, like, what, 60s and 70s human trials, and then we have a long intermission. Huge hiatus, baby. And just now we're kicking it back into gear, and that's where we are, man. That's where we come in. Oh, oh, we are the pioneers. Oh, yeah, man. We're very much at the not beginning. Not to launch that ego into overdrive, mm -mm. but we really are. Hey, Anyone who's brave enough to put their face behind their use right now is a pioneer. Hey, man, that's like uh, saying like Lewis and Clark were pioneers, you know, like people who are, who are going out on a new territory, they can call themselves pioneers. Have you had any, uh, have yeah. you had people try to talk you out of it? No, but I have had people that were just like, what is going on? Like, what, what are you doing? Why even bother to do this? <laughs> What do you mean? Explain. Well, I mean, it just seems like pretty pointless to somebody, when, especially before it yields any fruit, mm. right? It's just like, this seems highly dangerous for very little reward. <laughs> dangerous in the sense that it could, you know, affect your future career. Yeah, yeah, I know. And they always cite, like, the employer somehow finding your YouTube channel. You know what? How about this? I'm going to be my own fucking employer. How about if my employer Googles LSD? We probably would like each other, <laughs> right? Like, if he searches LSD and finds my content... Hey. Why would you want an employer that's not like that? Like people, they you know people act like they have no say in anything. Yeah. They act like they're victims to their circumstances when they create their circumstances. Very much so. Yeah. Like let's get on the same wavelength here. You are not a victim mm -hmm. to your environment. You are actively encouraging your environment's nature. Like like you are a they, node in a network. Every single individual, especially like. You know, I come from a science background. Every engineer, doctor figure that comes forward and starts sharing their experiences with, with these substances is going mm. to rapidly legitimize the movement. Like, it is extremely important that people say that they're safely using these substances, um, people in positions of somewhat uh, respected authority. Which, which is kind of like a detriment to me doing this because I have no authority. No, man, but you're a pioneer, man. The pioneers can't have any credentials. <laughs> <laughs> they're just cowboys. They just put on the hat and they just go out there. Man, I chugged like a bunch of water because I was feeling dehydrated. I gotta piss again. Yeah. You gonna take another one? No. I have some concerns that a, a cross tolerance may have formed or perhaps the ALD 52 is not as potent as I expected. And so I'm taking a second tab. But... No, that would be a third. A third tab. What theoretically could I be at? Theoretically, you could be at 300 <laughs> micrograms. Right back to my first time. All right, let's do it. Dude, time onset time. is 20 to 40 minutes. Yeah. It's faster than acid. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that, they're, they're duds. They're duds? I think this dude just took some duds. I took some duds. Good Not thing, milk duds. Good thing we had batch number two. Batch number two. Oh, man. So how are you feeling, dude? I'm definitely starting to feel stuff. This is the longest come up. <laughs> like, if, if those actually had some potency, this is like the longest come up of Earth. Mm -hmm. I suspect you'll be seeing my eyes dilate rather soon. Mm. Yeah, I'm coming up though on this acid. This, oh, are you? This is real, yeah. Oh shit. Let's explain. Um, <laughs> it's just like a basic distortions of depth. Like, like as I'm as I'm sitting here, it seems as though my arms are much further from <laughs> my eyes <laughs> than they are. Um, I feel like swimming in my head. Um, I feel lighter. So is is it feeling similar to acid? Yeah, it's it is. It really is. Any uh, notable differences on the come up? <laughs> the length. Yeah, I have a bit more of a headache. You had a headache today. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I had a headache today. I'm seriously 
ready to give you an Advil at any time. Do you want to take one? Nope. All right. Will not submit. It could help you. Help? Ad- one Advil's not going to You want to me. help me? If you, if you have a headache, entering a trip, like what? I, don't, I would take an Advil, but you're stubborn. Dude will take potentially psychologically and physically damaging drugs don't. of unknown characteristics, but he, he won't take an Advil. Don't try to help me. All right. <laughs> My mom is the exact same, bro. It's hilarious. She, she tries to tell me that all the time. <laughs> She's like, dude, you're literally vomiting. Why would you not take sick medicine? I'm like, that's life, baby. The plasma. My focus is just unnecessarily <laughs> precise right now. <laughs> what do you mean? Explain. Like, I shouldn't be able to just have this type of tunnel vision. Just, uh... <laughs> Sounds like Adderall, baby. Yeah, it does. Even that breath right there, like, I just, feels like I just went back, like, half a mile. What do you mean, half a mile? <laughs> like, it feels like my neck just went back, like, half a mile, like. Oh, you're Mr. Stretch. Oh, my God, am I Mr. Fantastic right now? Mr. Is that his name, Mr. Fantastic? I'm Daddy Longneck. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> oh, shit, this dude's coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I hope it all hits me at once. I hope it all it's like me. all the tabs just like. <laughs> <laughs> we want it all. Uh, Someone's just watching this in fear. How are you feeling? I feel fucking great. What, what are some of the physical sensations you're experiencing? Um. Definitely heightened sensory perception in the visual field and just like, I guess, the tactile field. Um, I keep having these breathing sensations. Um, Just as I breathe, it seems like the external environment is breathing also. Ooh, that's a fun one. Strange death perception illusions. Define strange. Like, it just shouldn't seem like I'm that far away from my hands. My arms are not this long. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they are. Maybe you just forgot. Yeah, maybe my arms just... Feeling a bit jittery. Jittery? Feel, feeling like a stimulant effect. Well, what's up? What are you experiencing? <sighs> not a lot. Really? It's very minimal? Yeah, very minimal. That's fuck. Yeah. Where are my visuals? All right, you're on record. So to whatever degree this is worth watching, like my acid trip, um, those, what, three tabs that I took, I'm just seeing like the exact types of acid, like distortions and visuals that you would, you would expect, like very, very powerfully. Like even your face now is like <laughs> subtly morphing. Like I was like a little dying laughing talking to her cause as I started to notice it. That's probably worth noting. Like, I, I mean, yeah, seriously course. about, um, I don't know. I don't know what that means about chemical activity or pro-drugs of LSD.
but they can be very, very delayed. That's what I now deeply have to... Uh, you're, you're positive that you're tripping right now. Yeah. 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 It's like, it's, it's like the obvious, yes. This is not what I, yeah, I did not this expect. This is not it. what I expected. Not what I expected <laughs> whatsoever. What time is it? Like four a.m. Yeah, right? yeah, I'm not going to be like talking to the camera. <laughs> I, I didn't I had no intention to record. I was just coming to tell you like as a side note, like, hey, that acid hit, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say, anyway, I'm going to have an acid trip. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, it is the next morning after a very obscure experience. Very strange. Uh, so what happened? Well, um, you have to kind of help me reconstruct the timeline here, but roughly, what, five or six hours after initial ingestion, I was hit with repeated powerful waves of essentially exactly LSD visuals, just like so obvious and overwhelming that I was so confused, so confused. Mm. Well, the timeline is you dosed at 10.15. Okay. Uh, at 11.27, you took another tab, okay. bringing you up to three tabs. Yeah. And then the next thing I know, I went out onto the back porch, smoked a very small amount of cannabis, came back to the couch. I'm talking to a friend of mine on video chat, and as I'm speaking to them, I'm watching patterns form on my face in the classic uh, LSD archetype, just like minor geometry, just morphing on my face. And then... Uh, Essentially, the very strange visual distortions that you see of the face and other people's faces. And then it got really strong when I... <laughs> it's, it was increasing in strength as I came upstairs to tell you what it was like. Mm. And, and you were very confused. And I was eating the salad. Yeah, you were eating the, you were eating the salad. <laughs> and um, then you came down here and I was like, Adam, this looks exactly like your trip simulation video. Like, I was so confused why. <laughs> the faces, right? The, your face looked exactly like, I'm talking the, the widening of the nose, the separation of the yeah. eyes, um, just almost drifting of the eyes, too. Um, was, the, was the head doing any, like, expanding? Yeah, your head was, like, much larger than it normally looks. Over five hours later. Five hours. How is that possible? It was extremely obvious that I was now immersed in the middle of an acid trip. And it was, so the cannabis was the catalyst. I'm assuming the cannabis was the catalyst because after I came back in from smoking the cannabis, it was like, it was almost as if it just began digesting. Like, it was extremely strange. That's weird. Yeah, and it, I didn't even want to believe it, but <laughs> I started cackling laughing as I'm watching my face, you know, ex essentially Bulge. So perhaps the fact that it was a pro drug and your body had to convert it into LSD, for some reason your body was just slow as shit slow converting it. Slow as shit, man. What yeah. is up with my biochemistry? Like those constipated shits that take forever to come out. The, the biggest thing was that it came in, it was consistent throughout the visuals, but they also came in increasing strength waves. And mm -hmm. so the, the powerful waviness and you know the general liquid motion maintained the entire time, but I would, I would be video chatting with my friend, and then once again, my eyes would start drifting from where their location should be. My face would start to flatten. What about her face? What was her face doing? Yes, her eyes looked extremely large. Her face was doing essentially what my face oh, was doing. It's funny you say that, because I remember one of my first acid trips, I was on Skype with a friend while I was in New Zealand, and I was like, I was saying to him, I was like, dude, stop it. And exactly. he's like, what? I was like, stop, like, stop tripping me out. I was like, why are you making your head grow? He's like, man, I'm doing nothing. And I was watching his head just go, ooh, and I was just... So tripped out because I couldn't figure out if it was me or a video effect. Dude, it looks exactly like a Snapchat filter. Like, yeah. It looks like somebody's like, first it looked like she was trying to make her eyes look like bug eyes. See that she was messing with you. Yeah, but, <laughs> but we were over a platform where that's not even possible. Oh, so <laughs> extremely, extremely strange. What about just like wood? Was wood flowing? These walls were extremely patterned. Um, I remember that these... Uh, this strange, like, kind of jet, jetting out of the paint you have looked like dancing men on the walls. Oh, cool. Um, almost doing, like, cartwheels. I've had things, they look very stop motion -y, like, it's it's very, like, yes. frantic. Yes. It's not, like, smooth. It's like... Doo, doo, doo. That's a good way of putting it. Or, like, a time-lapse video. <laughs> it's so weird because <laughs> I would never believe somebody who told me this, and yet I'm now not a victim to it, but I'm the direct observer of it. There you go, baby. So that says a lot, I so guess. So visuals aside, what was the headspace like? Very clear. Very clear. I didn't feel like I was being pulled into a, a trip I couldn't control. It just felt like I'm watching my field of view essentially come up on acid while I feel very calm and relaxed. How long did it last for? 
Well, um, I was up until, like you said, 8, 8.30, I guess, and then I essentially made the decision to try to go to sleep, and I'm a pretty good sleeper, so. About five hours. About five hours. Mm. So the, the primary effect was the face bulging. It was face bulging and just <laughs> over-the-top, like, funhouse distortions of, of visual perception. Funhouse is a good way to put it. You looked at yourself in the mirror as well? <laughs> yeah. Adam actually brought me to the mirror, and he said, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love, you told me you love mirror work. I love mirror work, So man. a lot of people say don't look in the mirror because it'll scare them, but he's like, man, I love mirror I work. Do, I do, I so do. It's like, all right, you gotta, you gotta look at yourself. Yeah, I can't believe how accurate, it, it sounds like I'm just sucking up, but it was exactly what that video of your face was <laughs> like. So strange. So There's strange. a lot of people saying, this looks nothing like acid. Oh, it's like, well, you, you haven't had the right acid. Well, it looks like ALD 52. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. So I don't know what, what you're taking, but wow. There we go. Rename it ALD 52 simulation. Yeah, maybe you have to. <laughs> just for your own peace of mind, would you try it again just to calculate if it would take that long to hit again? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Something about the interaction with the 5-HT2A receptor just was extremely delayed. Did it feel like three taps? Yeah, in terms of visuals it did. It was as strong as any visuals that I've ever had. Mm. And that's actually, if it hadn't been, I probably wouldn't have come upstairs. I would have just been like, yeah, I had a, I had a minor, you know, LSD-like effect. But it was so significant, I was wondering if I was entering, even heading towards an ego death. And again, I read this morning on a Psychonaut Wiki, and certain people report less visual effects on ALD-52. And so, I just want to say that in my direct experience, ALD-52 was much more powerful in the visual field than both acid trips that I've had previously. Mm. I'm really weirded out. I'm really weirded out. You gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah. In the best way possible. It's just like, as somebody who is trying to learn to study biochemistry, it makes no sense of, with my current understanding of um, interactions at receptor sites. It's a good thing, though. These mysteries give you more things to I'm kind of excited. To you, kind of, uh, you might have started me on a bit of an investigatory journey here. I'm, I'm really wondering how that's possible. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to actually ask other people as well. Like I, would, I probably want to reach out and see if other people have had these delayed effects. So, any you guys watching, if you've tried, not even ALD-52, but any psychedelic, because for me it's, it happened with an ayahuasca analog, you know, right below, let us know what your effects are, um, because he's probably going to be just eating up every single comment oh, that's I'm left gonna, on this video. <laughs> like Pac-Man. And he's going to be like, replying to all of you. Oh, I'll reply to every single comment. <laughs> every single comment. Done. It's almost like these psychedelics don't want to be videotaped. They're elusive. Because as soon as the effects started, we were like, all right, we're done filming. Yes. And tr trust me, I... I Maybe have, that's why it took so long. Because we, we, we were filming. Exactly. We had every incentive for it to kick in early. So, like, it's a big bummer that it didn't kick in until, what, four in the morning? Well, the cameras went off. So, did you have fun? I had a great time. Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, guys, that concludes this video. I would like to give a huge thank you to Quentin of the YouTube channel, The Quentin Experiment, for being the guinea pig for us today. And he also has an absolutely phenomenal YouTube channel. It's one of the best new psychedelic, well, if not the best new psychedelic and, you know, drug based channels that I've seen spring up in ever. So if you follow this link, you can find uh, his most popular video, which is where he tries LSD for the very first time out in the woods, and he recklessly takes two tabs. I highly advise that everyone check him out. It was an absolute pleasure to record some videos with you. I'm sure you're watching. It was awesome. Can't wait to do it again. Now, this was one of actually four videos that we filmed together. Uh, I'd also like to give a huge thank you to all of my patrons. I am going to be improving the quality of these videos significantly, and for that, we need to hire an editor. So if you do support my mission, please check out our Patreon page. More importantly, I should point out this insanely soft hooded blanket that we have custom designed, uh, which you can go to psychsubstance.shop to pre-order today. I wanted this out before Christmas, but um, in order to get the design right and so soft, it took a long time. I care about you guys, and yeah, we totally built this from the ground up, and you can pre-order order one as I guess like a late Christmas gift to yourself if you just follow the link uh, below and I promise you won't be disappointed these things are fucking awesome anyway I appreciate all you guys just for watching this video I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and as always stay safe everybody and if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up and I will see you guys all in the next one with some super super awesome stuff to come anyway take care guys love you all